you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Tam Talks Tech. Today, I'm going to be examining some of the highlights from the Ericsson Mobility Report for 2016. Some of the statistics were maybe a little bit shocking, but most of them were spot on as far as um, what I've come to understand about mobility, particularly mobility in the region. And some of them really called into question some of my personal behaviors as far as mobility is concerned. So let's take a look at some of my favorite stats. According to the report, 29% of internet users with smartphones state that they do most of their TV and video watching online, on demand, or via catch-up. That number drops a little bit to 22% when we look at it globally. That makes perfectly good sense given that we live in the age of Netflix and chill. Further to wit, YouTube and Facebook are the top two apps generating traffic in many advanced and optimizer countries. That one's not too big of a shocker either because uh, video consumption in the region is large and it is growing. So what do these statistics mean to me? Here's how it goes down in my house. We're streaming Netflix, we're watching one of our shows, right now it happens to be Ray Donovan, and I'm paying attention, I'm totally zoned in, and then I get a notification on my watch. Before you know it, I'm looking at my screen, I've been on Facebook, responding to a comment, liking some pictures, scrolling, catching up with families and friends, and I'm no longer paying attention to what's happening on the screen. In comes my husband. Did you miss that? Did you see that? That's important. You need to know it. So he has to rewind. I'm a multitasker. I'm a multi-screener. I'm a Facebooker. I'm a, I'm a Netflix watcher. I fit these statistics. And because of all of that, he just presses rewind all the time. That's how it goes.